I will tell you in this video who's responsible for the Boston bombing. A thing no real American would do. And no Chechen and Patsy either. I will tell you who has the motive by looking at what happened in Boston just before. As in all crime investigation one has to analyze previous incidents connected to the persons involved and in this very case the place where it all happened and apparently no one really has done their job correctly due to the framing up of the Chechen and Patsies. Only Octogon has a real motive due to what happened one month before in Boston on March 14th with exactly 33 days in between the two dates not counting March 14th itself and April 17th of the Boston bombing and counting only the days that lie in between. We all know 33 as a satanic number due to 33 degrees in a Freemason Lodge and others. And we also have 666 Boylston Street at the finish line of the Boston Marathon, the place where the bombs went off. So what happened at minus 33 on March 14th, 2013, indicating that Octagon of the Templars has all the motives we all know that in all major crimes in history the banks are involved including this time with 33BB666 the code for the false flag ops the answer is the CSFBC in Boston which was involved in the major event in the US of 2013 and nobody even talks about it the event has to do with one of Octogon's criminal banks that brought enormous poverty in the US due to organized backup by the criminal government of Octogon making honest Americans even lose their homes. So on day minus 33 a devastating blow has been given to the biggest crime syndicate of the world Octogon of the Templars. The CSFBC is a Boston based foreign bank which agrees on day minus 33 on March 14th to pay the horrendous sum of $400 million to the US for the theft of an amount several times higher. So this criminal foreign bank still made a good deal and a good business overall by robbing the American people. So here we can read it all. It says a uh, March 14, 2013, well, there it is, in Boston. And here, further down in the article, here, we can read here the, um, the Credit Suisse First Boston Corp. Well, there it is, there's the connection. But still, the loss of half a billion dollars and their good name and cover set them in a state of rage against the US. The CSFBC is short for Credit Suisse First Boston Corp, one of Switzerland's Nazi banks who financed Adolf Hitler from 1923 on. I mean, just look at the logo they used to have before, hiding it behind their new one. This is the type of logo Mr. Hitler most certainly would have understood immediately answering with the usual salute, where the raising arm measures the height of the pile of money. So the Swiss banks have the power, they have the means, they have the backup of their government and Nazi authorities, they have their hitmen doing liquidations, and they surely have a complete ruthless set of mind. So this is Mr. Hitler in Zurich in 1923 when they started financing him. And here we can read how Octogon and the Swiss banks they uh, pay um, 
professional hitmen to um, to terminate people even presidents and all that so you just uh, tap in uh, Peter Odensov and you can read the whole article so Switzerland and their octagon crime syndicate have a motive against the US as I just showed you and they have a motive against Muslims showing them in their streets as all sorts of animals so what's better than setting both targets up against each other by using a simple false flag ops and do remember that the Swiss did the same thing in the fascist era, setting up the Germans against the Jews. But they know the Germans are tired of losing wars. So they try and pick another nation to do the dirty laundry. Octogon has infiltrated the US government and authorities. But apparently there still is a handful of good folks in the FBI trying to bring Octogon down leading to this 400 million fine thanks to Mr. Preet Bharara and his man. So please everyone send this video to them and ask for help for me and my family. The Swiss Nazi police and Nazi judiciary will probably come around and haul me up again when they see this video. The two brothers from Chechnya are just patsies and we can see them running away with everyone else after the blast whereas a real bomber would sneak out calmly long before the blast the color of their backpacks doesn't match with that of the exploded ones and Chechens love America as an opposite to Russia and their crimes against Chechnya so one of them has a grey backpack and the other one has a white one, even a white one. And the one that exploded, that held the bombs in there, is even black. <laughs> so none of the brothers had the right colour and even the markings here of the other ones. Even the Blackwater craft guys are too obvious in the military style uniforms. Huge backpacks and remote controls too big and obvious to be true. So someone is just leading the attention on them. So the Muslims worldwide think it's them. And an inside job to incriminate Islam. And Americans think those Muslims did it again. Thus giving the perfect setup for a false flag hate up and setting up people's and religions up against each other in the ancient divide and rule strategy. Well, look at look at how the Blackwater guys are running as well after the blast, just as the Chechen brothers. Octogon was on the roof and quietly sneaked out of there. Even the Blackwater guys ran after the blast, indicating they were not prepared for this, just as the Tarnev brothers. The Blackwater dudes on the streets were not involved, but the Blackwater headshed certainly was. Now why were they on the streets sticking out as daisies on a football lawn, together with the two brothers? Because there are lots of cameras. And why were the other ones on the roof? because there weren't any. No cell phones and no cameras. Now let's have a look at the Blackwater logo. It shows the oval as in the Oval Office which symbolizes the red womb of Isis just as in the Washington Mount Monument and the phallic symbol standing in the middle of the oval in Washington. See my other vids for more about it. The name Blackwater indicates stealth, black ops, secrecy and hiding real attentions because you can't see what's hiding right under the surface of a black non-transparent water. And water runs into the smallest holes infiltrating everything. And there is a bass claw in the middle of the Sisters of Isis and the Oval. And the uh, bear's claw, the bear, is the uh, symbol of um, 
the capital of Octagon, Bern, where the real black water lies. I'm going to show it to you. So here's the bear's claw uh, in the coat of arms of the uh, of the province where the real um, black water lies in Octagon, and this is their coat of arms. There it is. And in Octagon, there's a place called Blackwater, where the Grail's Castle stands showing reptilians. Schwarzwasser and Grasburg in German, where there most certainly has been an L between the A and the S forming the word Grail, as in the Holy Grail. Because the word Gras doesn't make any sense at all. So the real name of this water around the castle is called the Black Water. And they have the bear's claw. And all this is in the nation of the bear as John saw in the Revelations. And as the bear shows on their coat of arms of the Empire of Darkness that Black Water's stealth and capital of Octagon burn. And John also saw the number 666 as being related to being able to pay and sell or not. Just as a bank has this power over money transactions. And this Swiss Octogon bank, also called the Beast, carries this very number in its logo. So here we can clearly see that the whole logo is hexagonal. As we can see here, there's six parts here. And here there's three times the V of the Templars, like on the terracotta soldier uh, of the Chinese Emperor, who of course is of pharaonic descent, as they all are. Because Egypt, in fact, was a uh, cosmopolitan uh, place where they mixed with all races of the whole earth in order to uh, create the, um, all the kings and queens uh, to rule uh, over the earth. Uh, so this is the V, and here is the 6, it says a 6 here. So from two sides of the key, we can see the 6. If you look at it from the other side, we can see the 6 as well. They thought of everything. So this is 6, 6, 6. Well, this is the Templar's Bank of the uh, of Octagon, of the criminal Octagon of Switzerland. See the Pharaoh show for more. And see Octagon the Empire of Darkness for more.